Hello students, this is Nita Shetty, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC, HIT Mangalore. So in today's session, I'll be beginning with the Module 5. So the Module 5 is uh, Verification and Validation of Simulation Model Optimization. So this is just a theory part, very small module. Okay, only, only few topics we are going to study in this module. So we are studying about the verification and the validation of the simulation model. Okay, so let's begin with the model. So here, so one of the most important and difficult tasks facing a model, uh, model developer is a verification and validation of the simulation model. So it is the job of the model developer to work closely with the end user throughout the period. Okay, see here, in this model we are studying just two concepts, that is one my verification of the simulation model and we are going to study of the validation of the simulation model. Okay, so different techniques in validation and different techniques in verification and we are going to study the difference between verification and the validation. Okay, so and it is a very ta uh, difficult task for the user to keep on verifying and validating the model each time. Okay, and it is a job of the model developer to work closely with the end user throughout the period. Okay, so the developer means one who develop the model and the end user means who uses this model. So this developer should satisfy this user. Okay, that means that model should work on every period and in case if it is not working then end user will ask with the developer. Right, so it is a job of the developer to work closely with the end user throughout the period. Okay, now, so before starting, we, we should know what is the exact difference between verification and validation. Okay, so verification means it is concerned with building the model right. And validation is concerned with building the right model. See, what is the difference between these two statements? Verification is concerned with building the model right. Validation is concerned with building the right model. See, when you develop a model, okay, you know what should be the model, what are the inputs and what should be the output. Okay, so based on that output, what you should get, we are, we are building the model, right? So verification is verifying our model whether we are getting the correct output. Okay, that is verification. So verification is concerned with building the model, right? That means we are checking whether we are getting the right output. Validation means building the right model. We are seeing some other model and we are seeing, uh, we are identifying whether a model works according to that model. Okay. So, validation is concerned with building the right model. Means by checking some other model, we are uh, checking our model whether we are getting the expected outcome. Okay. So, we will see more difference. So, second difference between verification and validation is uh, in verification, it is utilized in comparison of the conceptual model to the computer representation that implements the conception. Okay. So, what is conception? Conception means uh, the model with the different concepts. Okay. Say so before we are implementing, we have the data, we have collected the data, we have all the assumptions and we have prepared one conceptual model. Okay. So, that is uh, the model based on that model, conceptual model we are implementing in real time. Okay. So, we are utilizing the comparison of the conceptual model. That means we are building a model according to that model. Okay. So, it is like a sample model. So, based on that uh, or it is a framework. Okay. It's, uh, I can say it is a framework. So, based on that framework, we are building the model. Okay. So, we are comparing our model with the framework. So, it is an utilized uh, comparison you know, of the conceptual model, the com uh, computer represents that implements the concept. So, before, for example, the engineers when they construct the house, when they so, they will build one model, right, through software. So, based on that, they will do it in a real time, okay. So, that uh, the software which had designed, okay, we call it as a conceptual model. Similarly, what is validation? It is utilized to determine that model is an accurate representation of the real system. So, it is usually achieved through the calibration of the model, okay. So, calibration means after building the house, we are seeing, uh, we are, with the, some other house, we are matching whether we are getting the, uh, I, mean, I mean, whether we have reached the expected outcome, okay. So, that means uh, we, by seeing some other model, we are measuring a model. Okay, see students, the difference between verification and verification, uh, we are checking our model with the conceptual model, with the framework. Validation means we are checking a model with some other model which is already implemented. Okay, so we are, that is known as calibration. And so here, it is usually, it has to determine that model is an accurate representation of the real system. So next, the purpose of the verification is to assure that the conceptual model is reflected accurately in the operation model. So, the purpose of the model in the verification is to show that the conceptual model is reflected accurately.
directly in the operation model okay and validation is overall process of comparing the model and its behavior to the real system and its modeling so here in verification the purpose of the model verification is to assure that the conceptual model is reflected accurately in the operation model so here operation model means model after the uh, once the design i mean once it is implemented we call our model as an operational model okay here the purpose in verification purpose is we are checking the outcome what it got whether it is matching with the conceptual model whereas in validation we are comparing the uh, out output model okay and its behavior with the real system or with the model okay so we are comparing the output and its behavior with some other system so that is the difference between verification and validation so here first we are building model right this is right model okay here comparing the conceptual model we are comparing the accurate representative real system okay and here we are checking the working of the output here we are checking entire behavior with the real system okay so next concept we are going to study here is model building verification and validation okay so model building verification and validation so before they go for verification verification and validation they need to build a model right they need to build a model so this diagram shows entire thing three things model building verification and validation see these three steps are required to build a model okay these three steps are required to build a model so uh, during building okay i mean uh, this three steps are required to build the model at the same time verification and validation is done on the model okay now so first step in building a model is real system and conceptual model see based on the real system they are building a conceptual model what is conceptual model it is a framework okay so what does it contain it contains some assumption on the system components so it contains structural assumption which define the interaction between the system components it contains input parameter data assumption so these are the different uh, at, uh, i mean different attributes of the conceptual model okay what does this conceptual model requires it contains assumptions okay uh, what type of assumptions structural assumptions which define the interaction between the system components so it contains different input parameter different data assumption etc so based on the real system they are building the conceptual model with all the assumption and with some parameter once the conceptual model is built then they are going for building then they are going to build what operational model so what is operational model it is a computerized representation okay so this is over here they are building an actual model so when they build an actual model they go for verification so what is this verification they compare with the conceptual model then they go for the real system okay okay so here uh, if it is not proper again they will check the model okay and what is this validation so validation i said they will compare with the real system okay so they will compare the model with the real system okay so that is known as calibration or validation okay see comparing a model with the see here look at the different students come see this is our model the developer will model and with the, they will get the output okay when they compare that model with the conceptual model we call it as a verification when we compare a model with a real system we call it as a validation and calibration hope this is clear students okay so when we compare a model with a real system it is known as validation and calibration when we compare a model with the conceptual system it is known as model verification okay now this conceptual model is this by com uh, it is built by comparing the uh, i mean by taking the attributes from the real system okay so this is known as conceptual validation this is known as model verification so this is model calibration and model validation like this okay so first we'll study about the verification in today's session i'll be explaining this verification and in my next session i'll be explaining about the validation okay so i'll be now i'll be going for explanation of the model verification before that we'll see the explanation for this diagram okay so the first step in model building consists of observing the real system and interaction among its various component and collecting the data on its behavior 
okay so for example the operators technicians repair and maintenance persons engineers supervisors managers are under certain aspects of the system which may be unfamiliar to others okay and as model development proceeds new question may arise and model developer will return to this step of learning through system structure and behavior okay so they have studying here all the attributes then they are going for to build the conceptual model so all the data i mean all the doubts will be clarified all the assumptions will be taken okay all the entities attributes will be considered okay the second step in model building is construction of the conceptual model so a collection of assumptions on the components and the structure of the system plus hypothesis on the values of the model input parameters are taken okay and third step it is a translation to the operational model into the computer recognizable form okay that means converting a conceptual model into the programming language we call it as an operational model which a computer can understand we call it as a computer representation so this is the output this is in code okay output what they are getting when they compare that output with the conceptual model we call it as a verification and when they compare that operational model with the real system we call it as a calibration and validation so this should be clear okay and this entire module is studying just this verification and validation okay so this three steps of the when they build the model okay at the same time they will require what validation and verification now let's begin the first one verification of the simulation model okay so what is verification i said when they compare a model with the conceptual model we call it as a verification so the purpose of the verification is to assure that conceptual model is reflected accurately into the computer representation okay so what is conceptual model what is conceptual model the um, framework okay how it is built based on the real system uh, what is verification verification means that they are measuring that uh, whether the operation model matches with that conceptual model okay that means whether the conceptual model is reflected accurately in the computer representation computerized representation the conceptual model quite often involves some degree of abstraction about the system operation some amount of simplification of the actual operation okay so for, for conceptual uh, it requires what some degree of the abstraction okay uh, abstraction means it should match with the real world okay and some amount of simplification so now they are given so many suggestions they are given around eight suggestion okay that means uh, how the many suggestion can be given for use in verification so how the verification can be done okay they are given eight points so first point how the computerized representation checked by someone other than its developer okay now the developer alone he will do okay but uh, for him it's uh, like he will identify the mistake but if third person comes and compare it he will get the mistakes in more effective way that means he might get some other mistakes which is not identified by the developer so have the computer i represent should take by someone other than its developer that means he will build a model give that model to some other person and ask them to to execute that okay so that he is able to identify the mistakes okay we actually in software engineering alone that we call it as a gamma test alpha test beta test okay so that means we are giving that to some other person next make a flow diagram which includes each logically possible action a system can take when an event occurs and follow the model logic for each and uh, for each action for each event type okay so next uh, how you can do the verification is first is by giving the system to some other person third the second step is go for the logical representation make a flow diagram which includes logical possible action system can take when an event occurs and follow the model logic for each action so third one closely examine the model output for the reason reasonableness under the variety of setting of the input parameter so now check with the different input and see what are the different outputs you are getting okay so that is a, another way of verifying okay so here what are the three points you studied so give the system to some other person give it to the some other developer and ask him to check what are the second step make a flow diagram okay so that you can identify the mistakes in other way okay what is third step closely examine the model for the uh, variety of settings set different input and check for the output okay so next uh, have the computerized representation print the input parameter at the end of the simulation to be sure that this parameters have have values values have not been changed inadvertently okay so go for the computerized representation 
and print the input parameter at the end of the simulation and to be sure that these parameters are not changed inadvertently okay so that means you print the output value okay and make sure that your parameters are not changed and see the different output to what you are getting okay so that means with the same input run uh, i mean the same parameter uh, give the different input and draw the graph next make the computerized representation of self documenting as possible okay so go for the self documentation go for the computerized representation and do the self documentation next if the computerized representation is animated verify that what is seen in the animation imitates the actual system okay so if the computerized representation is animated verify that what is seen in the animation imitates the actual system okay now do the animation okay now check how, how your input model verifies with the animation okay that means how it modifies the uh, real system actual system okay then there is a concept known as irc that is interactive run controller okay interactive run controller irc so it is also known as debugger okay so what is this irc irc or debugger it is an essential component of a successful simulation model building okay so interactive run controller irc or debugger is an essential component of successful simulation model building so even the best of simulation analyst makes a mistakes or commits logical error when building a model so irc assist in finding and correcting those error in the following way okay see so there is an um, coming known as irc interactive run controller okay so actually who are they irc is, they are known as debugger okay so it is an essential component of a uh, successful simula simulation model okay so actually many experts even they will do the mistakes but irc interact run controller so it is a software actually it is the debugger okay debugger means it is a software it will identify the mistakes and it will correct the error okay so now how it will correct the error so irc the simulation can be monitor monitors as it progress okay and attention can be focused on particular line of logic or multiple line of logic that constitute a procedure or a particular entity okay and values of the selected model components can be observed and when the simulation has paused the current value or the status of variables attributes queues resources counts etc they can be observed okay and the simulation can be temporarily suspended or paused and not only to view the information but also reassign the values of free direct entities so these are the different steps taken by the debugger or irc what is irc it is interactive run controller now how we will check so here the simulation can be monitored okay so they will check the simulation as it progress okay so that means they will do step by step checking okay and they will give the attention attention can be focused on particular line of logic or multiple line of logic that constitutes a procedure of particular entity okay so here for each and every line the attention is being given okay so they have been focused the each and every line of the logic uh that contains the procedure or particular entry that means each and every line of the code is checked okay one by line by line okay so debugging it will debug each and every line it will check the a logic of all the lines and so values of the selected model components can be observed okay so values of the selected model or the components can be observed when the simulation has paused the current values or status of values or the attributes queues resources counters etc they can be observed okay so when the select uh, uh, here the all the input model i mean components can be observed uh, and when the simulation is stopped uh, the all the current values the status of values the entities its attributes its resources its queue value its counter value so everything is observed by the debugger that means it will display the, all the values okay next the simulation can be temporarily suspended 
okay so when you run the simulations so temporarily it can be stopped okay temporarily simulations can be temporarily suspended or paused not only to view the information but also but also to reassign the values of redirect or redirect the entries okay and the graphical interface are recommended for accomplishing the verification and validation so graphical interface are rec recommended for accomplishing verification and so these are the eight steps required in the verification okay so what are the eight steps required for the verifications they are so computerized representation checked by someone other than its developer okay uh, next term uh, make a flow diagram which includes the logical possible action system can take when an event occurs and follow the model logic for each and each action for each event and closely examine the model output for the reasonableness under the variety of setting the input parameter okay have the computerized representation print the input parameter at the end of the simulation to be sure that parameters values are not being changed invariantly and make the computerized representation self documenting and go for animation so verify that what is seen in the animated emitters actual system and next uh, it is done by irc it is a debugger interactive run controller so it is an essential component of the successful simulation and model building so even the best of simulation analysts makes a mistake or commits a logical error which can be identified by the irc how the irc will identify the mistakes so they will monitor the simulation that means simulation can be monitored at every progress and attention is given for each and every line of the code for each logic that yield attention and the simulation can be stopped at any time okay and values of the model can be observed and when it is uh, observed the, the current values of the different status attributes queues resources counters everything is observed okay so uh, so these are the four uh, steps uh, which is done by the uh, interactive uh, interactive run controller okay next the graphical interfaces are recommended for accomplishing verification and validation okay so this is how the verification is done in the simulation model okay so verification is done in the simulation model so here we discussed about the verification model building we completed in that i explained the verification uh, so next let me give the summary of uh, this session so what we studied here so first we discussed about the okay uh, so first we introduce uh, introduction was given here so the mean uh, why we need verification and validation because it is a job of the developer to work closely with end user throughout the period okay to, uh, so it is the developer works to verify that and validate the model each and every time so next we discuss the difference between the verification and validation so what is verification it is concerned with building the model right and what is validation it is concerned with building the right model okay and here it is utilized in comparison of the conception model to the computer representation that implements the conception here it is utilized to determine that model is an inaccurate representation of the real system it is actual through the calibration of the model so here the purpose of the model verification is to assure that conception model is reflected accurate in operation model so the validation of the overall process of comparing the model and its behavior real system and its modeling okay so in model building very important three steps they are real system then conceptual model and operation model so how the conceptual model is built by looking at the real system uh, they will build the conceptual model okay while building the conceptual model all the assumption is taken care the it includes structural assumptions which define the interaction between the system components and the input parameters different data assumptions everything everything should be taken care okay then they go for operational model see what is operation model it is a computerized representation or converting the framework into the coding language is known as operation model and when the developer will compare the operation model with the conception model we call it as a verification and when the developer compare the operation model with the real system it is known as calibration and validation okay so these are the very important three three steps which is required for the uh, verification and validation okay so next we started with the verification how the verification is done okay the purpose of the model verification is assure that conceptual model is reflected accurately in the computerized representation 
okay and conceptual model quite often you know some degree of the abstraction about system operation and some amount of simplification of the actual operation and they are given eight suggestion so we have discussed this eight suggestions in that uh, uh, IRC this is very important that is interactive run controller okay it is also known as debugger and it is a very essential component of the successful simulation and model because uh, some many mistakes cannot be identified by the expert also but uh, this software this debugger will uh, identify the error and it will uh, help to rectify the error it will check the error okay so in my next session i'll be discussing about the validation and calibration uh, thank you